for a long time. He's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet for a long time, though. The title fight eluded him, not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? this heavyweight championship fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who just first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Black Mamba. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. It doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward to close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Boom! Oh, yes, now we're going. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. 
Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. What a punch. Nice one-two there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Oh, like the thought there, good attempt at a counter, ultimately it's no good. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Three minutes now to go in this one. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Got him. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Nurmagomedov. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. He blocks the punch. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, counters with a nicely timed uppercut. Under two minutes to go. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick lands. Beautiful leg kick throw. 90 seconds to go in our opening round. Well, he is at his kickboxing desk tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Big head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, huge block! Nurmagomedov gets the tie clinch here. Can't take many of those, you better check. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Coleman now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick from Get that recognized from high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Round two is next. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. 
Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up, so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Nice punch lands over the top. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Blocks the shot. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big power shot there. Oh, big stick up top, that's another one. Beautiful kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. How good is that right hand? Let's get going. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes off. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, so 74 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, not the most efficient effort today. The numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Nurmagomedov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Head kick. That shot blocked by Nurmagomedov. Some blood starting to trickle down in and around that left eye. Hopefully it doesn't affect his vision. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Missed with that right hand. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that dude. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really Overwhelming his opponent with activity. Hands up. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Flips the punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Beautiful head kick. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times, he's used this punch to get to the target. Oh, and he caught the kick. Take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot.
no glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Good stick. Right under the elbow. The body can land. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he chops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Oh, nice right hand. Slips. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Beautiful strike. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Gubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Nice strike. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so good. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. That right hand landed. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice. And he caught the kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Ooh, tagged him with the uppercut. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Punch over the top. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big knee to the body. Oh, massive knee to the head. Oh. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. But that's working. Oh. No. And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it.
crush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Now we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 17 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle and Michael Mena. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts.